Hey world, it's Tobo. It is September 10th, 2013, and welcome back to the party. As we generally do on Tuesdays, today is a friendship cast, and even though there is no other face on screen, I do, in fact, have Crazy Kaylee with me here for the evening. Say hi, Kaylee. I'm waving even though you can't see me. Alright, awesome, I shall wave back. So, that's amazing. Uh, today... Today we're going to be doing Drawn Onward versus Wodar, um, and I haven't actually seen this set, as in, like, all the sets I cast. Have you? Did you actually get to watch this one? I think so. I, I'm not sure, but this might be one that I actually had already did look at. I mean, I was at least watching Drawn Stream, because I see my name in the comments, or in the uh, all right, stream cool. chat. Yeah, I see it too. So no spoilers, alright? Even if you remember something that happens. Yeah, I, pro I probably won't even remember it. But yeah. All right, cool. Just just making sure. Uh, is there any housekeeping I have to do? Um, oh, I have an idea to throw by you guys. Uh, once replays and spectation are a thing, I want to start a segment, and I want to make sure you guys are all okay with this. I want to start a segment um, that's basically going to be a weekly newbie cast. It's going to be hap happen on Friday nights, and because replays and spectation are going to be a thing, I'll have enough games to actually do it, and I'm going to call it Casual Friday. What do you think? I, I like that silence. idea. Okay, cool. <laughs> I thought you were cringing at the point. I wasn't, sure. I wasn't sure if you were asking me or if you were asking your stream chat. No, I like that I idea. Asking, I think I it's... I think it's really important for, for new players to kind of get something like that, because they can't always see... Their mistakes and it takes a while to figure out what you're doing wrong i think a lot okay. of new players don't really get what's going on and why they're being shot a lot of times yeah <laughs> Wodar yeah. won't are getting there with the biting husky <laughs> idea uh, <laughs> a lot of people a lot of new players don't know what's going on until they see like a or until they play a more experienced player who just keeps shooting them over and over and over and over for the same thing and then they finally figure it out yeah yeah i think so too uh i really like the um I really like the newbie casts because of that, and also just because they're fun and they're silly and weird things happen. Uh, I also just want to ask, because uh, I'm seeing water in the chat, uh, like, is it actually okay if I do this, or would you rather would you rather me let you do this thing? Because it, it was, in fact, your idea for to do this for Spy Party, so is it cool if I jump on this, or do you want to do this yourself? Okay, it's uh, okay. Awesome. I got the okay. I got the thumbs up from Mordor. So, with that out of the way, let's actually cast some spy party. So, uh, we've got Drawn Onward as the spy to start things off. Wodar as the sniper, and I am going to start the streams in three, two, one, playing it. And we are underway. Draw, I notice, tends to like to look for where the ambassador is early and get in a good, like, 90-degree bug if he can. But yeah. it looked like this time he was worried the ambassador might walk away from the window spot. That's an interesting... That was a really interesting little flirt there. He didn't really want to be seen next to a seduction target for too long. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Another thing that Drawn has issues with on this map, in particular, is time management. He seems to play really slowly on this map, and it winds up biting him quite often. I'm surprised not to see him add time kind of early. That's a fake banana bread. That's very interesting. Um, yeah. Th th that, that might be playing to the meta here, because, I mean, Wodar does high occasionally straight-up low-light whole groups of people where there's no DA when he's playing Drawn, because he does not think that Drawn does it. Which, yeah. in my experience, he almost never does. So, I mean, usually it's a good play, but... Might be yeah. trying to play against that right there. Does didn't now, succeed in any case. Now Water did get some good low lights there, but he also got a couple of false highlights. So yep. it's an interesting trade off. And drawn stays neutral, so it may, might be worth it there. I mean, the only problem is once the second one goes off, he might be in trouble. But you know, if you stay neutral lit after a after a banana bread, you're usually pretty happy. Yeah. So That's all you can really expect. Oh yeah, absolutely. So that's going to be the second flirt, and we've got 2 minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock, and really nothing has happened other than those two flirts. 
Oh, he's thinking about a purloin. Hits the green on that, too, so that's yeah, real Wodar, nice. Yeah, Wodar was looking right at him, though. Let's see what happens here. Oh, and he's running away, too. Look at this. Yeah, if Purple Dress takes the drink, I think he gets shot. Yeah. Purple Dress does not, so we're going to open well, this, up. This could get confusing a in a bit. hurry. Ooh, and oh, and neither yeah. does Blue Danger. Oh, but shoots him. Bang. Oh, God. What happened? Did you see was, a bug or something? So, yeah, the bug just... It was uh, one of those in-convo bugs that was really quick. Uh, a little flip of the hand. Um, it looked like the Amber walked away. Yeah, Ambassador did, in fact, walk away last second. Nah, and, that's rough. Yeah, so didn't even go off. I think you're about, like, a second ahead of me. But... Okay, super well, fast. Pause and start again. Yeah, exactly. That's the way to go. So we've got Wodar up 1-0 after the first game. And do you think it was the purloin that really cast a lot of suspicion on Drawn, or what do you think I it mean, was? I mean, I don't think so. I mean, that was a long chain of rejects there. Yeah. Uh, I would say, I, just, I mean, it must have been the bug. Yeah, it must. Well, that's obviously what got him shot. I just don't know what it was that actually got him high lit in the first place. Either way, though, we're stepping into the next game here. We've got Wodar as the spy, Drawn Onward playing Sniper. And let's see if Drawn Onward can turn this game into a repeat performance, or if Wodar can slip one under the rug. Oh, Wodar in chat says the highlight was for keeping track of rejections. That is just awesome. A little bit of an iffy bug, but Drawn wasn't looking there. Yeah. That was probably more I know the lasers over there kind of bug. Yeah. Um, but, like, on a map like this, it's kind of hard to notice bugs at all if yeah. they're relatively smooth just because the map Indeed. is so big and you're looking at so much. Ooh, right to the center statues here. Indeed. Now, Wodar uh, Ooh, white test. doesn't take off uh, Inspect like Drawn Onward does, Wodar actually takes off Seduce. Oh, just in time. Please Good green get test. this. Okay, cool. He did get that off. So. Good shape. Two missions Indeed. down, 240. Yeah, it's looking quite nice for our friend Wodar. He is not even highlit yet, so. He's looking to be but in a look out. good spot. So Drawn does a really good job guarding microfilm on this map, so. Let's see what his plan is. Okay. Oh, yeah, I hadn't transfer. noticed that Drawn was really good at microfilm on this map, which is kind of bad because I cast it so often. Uh, Wodar hits the green test on the um, on the microfilm at the red bookcase there. He steps in to see if he can get his banana bread off. So there's the contact. He's, moving... He's going uh, with really of... nice speed here. I like I like I like his pace. Yeah. Some amazing reaction time from that banana bread on Drawn Onward's side. Mm -hmm. That was a really good set of low lights there. Oh, yeah. Oh, here that we go. Very nice. But Wodar is just. Uh, Wodar might just be a little so fast here. A little too fast for the micro microfilm. I mean, usually with microfilm, even if you're going to do transfers, uh, manual transfers, you want to wait a little while longer just so they don't think, huh, didn't I just see Brown Dress or that other bookcase? Yeah. Ooh, white test, white test. Albatron's oh, just Lays staring on the, the other, other end, side. Though. So, white tests are scary, but they're a lot less scary on this map. Yeah, I'd rather do like uh, manual transfer against Drawn than try to carry a book from one bookcase to another. Absolutely. And at this yeah. point, all we need is one more mission, and we've got a minute to do it. It is a Pearl pretty rough hard swap, tell. You think? As he, the way he's standing tells me he wants to do a purloin because he's trying to hide the tray behind the column right now, but okay, he might yeah, he sense. might decide against it. Let's see. No, he just lets it go. Huh. I'm not sure there's a better spot. Oh, he summoned... I, th I think, think he summoned Toby again? Yeah, he did. So... Huh. But then he just walks away. All right, looks like we're going to swap this thing. I don't really Not like even... that. I mean, if if I were if I were drawn, I'd be saying, okay, this person just rejected Toby twice, because I know drawn's looking at let you know if it's under thirty seconds to go, you got to look out for the tray. 
Yeah. And then that person immediately walks to statues when they notice you looking at them. I mean, that's kind of fishy. Yeah. Okay, so he's trying to do the sidestep trick here. It's not going to work, though, because Orange Dress got a highlight for being at the statue that uh, Water's at now. Yeah, yeah. So... It's... I mean, it'll be down to the person who grabs the statue in brown dress. Yeah, that was a long penny, Oh, he just though. gets shot. Oh, because... Oh. It was because of the, um... Uh... The... Stoppage at zero. He knew it was either yep, a yep. green purloin or a green swap, and I don't think there was could, a whole lot going on. Exactly. With the at that point. Exactly. So well played by Drawn. Good sniper yeah. round, and a Indeed. really good spy round too. That was overall a really yeah. good round. Yeah, it was an amazing round. Um, My only critiques were like really nitpicky kind of stuff. That was uh, <laughs> yeah. that was solid play both sides. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. I feel like. Um. I feel like maybe rejecting Toby wasn't such a bad idea because, uh, as you say, Drawn was probably keeping an eye on the trade pretty closely at the end there. And as well as that... Um, yeah, he might just he, be trying to cr create a distraction, just like, oh, here's, here comes the reject chain, and then like, yeah. oh, I'm going to swap a statue. Like, the only thing yeah. I don't like about that is I feel like he was getting away with it and like had no heat on him really before that. I mean, the only really suspicious thing that he did was go to a center statue. And when yeah. you're when you're down with like a little bit of time left, like under like 40 seconds, especially on like five of six or four of six on courtyard, with when the you know the person has to do a hard tell, like you know the feeling of that person who's walking around from hard tell to hard tell trying to find an opening. So yeah. maybe he got some heat on himself a little bit, but yeah. I don't know. It, it, I mean, I like the idea of starting a long reject chain to, as a distraction yeah, too, for the swap. But... I also, I also very much feel like um, if he'd hit the white test instead of the green, that may have actually won him the game there. Yeah, it could have. It looked like John was guarding those statues really closely, but the block might have actually won it for him. Yeah, I mean, especially on such a wide model, it's so hard to see that statue from that angle. Yeah, I mean, the only, other than the Virginia Volpez model, like, really, it's like Buck Swaggle, like, is the only one better than that, and it's pretty yeah. comparable. So, you've got a 1-1 scoreline as Drawn Onward picks up the spy, going for the really early purloin. And he gets shot. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, yep, uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh. Yeah, there's the bullet. Oh, man, that was... Not sure what he was thinking there. I mean, he, he was probably just going for the green test, but you can't count on yeah. that. Yeah, that that was unfortunate. That was very unfortunate. So, Wardar picks up uh, that game. <laughs> Wardar says, "Okay, I remember this set now." So, apparently, apparently that quick little thing triggered some. Some memory in Wodar as he tries to. I'd like to see to more time his... ads from Drawn. I mean, it's something that served him well in this matchup in the past. Oh yeah. And so far he hasn't added time once. Oh, right for center statues. Oh, um... but here comes green dress. Oh, and a swap. Very nice. Very interesting. Ooh, that is interesting. I, I like think I almost would have preferred the white swap there. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're still about a second ahead of me, so. Okay, quick pause. So we've got the green swap there. We've got um, we've got really nice two bug opportunity. This is done. almost free. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. right behind the pillar. There's no way he's ever going to see that. Absolutely, that was very nice. Did pick up a highlight for it though. BB to try yeah. to distract from the swap. Yeah, that's like a situational highlight. You see that person behind that pillar next to that amba. You you highlight yeah. them because that's shenanigans going on right there. Yeah, absolutely. Now I am worried about the swap though, because the even though the banana bread was a great move because it distracted from the swap really nicely, but I don't know. Oh, and then with with uh, white jacket there, that could have been what he needed to really lose suspicion on that, and yeah. it's even being blocked by wow, so many people. 
Man, he really got lucky on that green test on the swap there. I think that could have I feel blocked. like he walked away from statues a little fast there. I think he was Maybe. trying to get away from the statues without drawn seeing him there, and he might have put it down and then walked away too fast. But he is low lit at this point. I think Drawn noticed the swap. Yeah. But there were yeah. such a large chain of people that hap that went to that statue between. Yeah, oh, there and there's actually jacket. a mm -hmm. bullet for it as well. And yes, White Jacket was one of the people who was at that statue. That's unfortunate for Drawn. I felt like he had a pretty good beat on what was going on. Yeah, he is. It's just. There was so much activity at that one statue that mm -hmm. yep. it's so hard to keep track of that. Just tons and tons of cover there. Mm -hmm. Well, I was wrong. I was thinking you almost intentionally white swap there just so the sniper doesn't even know there's been a swap. Because yeah, if I... you green swap, they see one statue and it changes later. And if you white swap it before they notice it, uh, yeah. then you know, you're know you okay. But it turned out to, turned out really well. Yeah, I mean, that was my thought as well. I, I would have gone for the white swap as well, but maybe he felt he didn't get there early enough to beat the sniper to seeing the statue. So maybe the green swap was the way to go. But either way, worked out great for him. And Maybe a little over-aggressive on Drawn's part, uh, just because probably Wodar isn't done yet. But, yeah, I mean, a swap is a swap, you know, and it's... It, Especially if Dude. there were multiple people at that statue, you're in a rough position. Man, man, swaps are terrifying. Like, if you miss a swap, you feel terrible. That feels so bad. Yeah, missing any of the hard tells. Purloin is the same way. You see that the guest list in there, you're like, oh, God. Yeah. The worst well, feeling let... is any four of six on courtyard. Because <laughs> then oh, you know God, there's yeah. nothing you can do. They're, they're yeah. doing their missions, and you can't stop them. I, yeah. played a set, I played a set of 100 games against KCM recently. And uh, Holy yeah, I know. That's a lot of games. And like a couple times, like I, I, cause I'm crap against guarding soft tails <laughs> on a courtyard or anywhere else, I, I, let alone against KCM, right? So like every time yeah. it would happen, like I'd see a set statue swapped and I didn't know who was there. And I'm just like, I should just shoot a random person right now. Yeah. Oh man. I I have less of a um that feels so terrible thing about purloins because I know I'm bad at purloins. I can't, I'm not used to watching them. I still haven't gotten used to that. Drawn finally going for the fast time ad there. Yeah, I like that. Me too. Oh, oh looks like Wodar maybe saw it. He's highlighting people who are at Windows. But I don't think he knows that Drawn was there. Yeah, Drawn did I it and ran. Wodar was I a little think... late in seeing it. I think that was a perfect time at. That was very, very nicely done. That was pretty sick, yeah. Good call to run away to a conversation circle. I don't like running and hiding behind the pillar. I feel like John hides behind pillars way too much on this map. See, you notice a lot of these little things that I don't notice, and I, I really should. Drawn just but, loves the pillars on this map. I mean, he he almost exclusively double agents behind uh, behind pillars. I mean, I noticed in one of their sets that Wodar just highlight everyone behind a pillar during a during a oh, banana wow, bread, and I, and he highlight Drawn, of course, you know, doing that. I was yeah. like, that was a really really good meta game read. That is, I need to learn this stuff, man, because that is really cool. Once replays, but I don't them out, get just sorry. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Uh, what I was going to say is, like, what I don't get ever on this map is Wodar's low lighting and high lighting pattern. His yeah. his system is, a, is an utter mystery to me. Like, he just neutral lit brown dress for reasons that I, I don't understand, like, a few seconds ago. Oh, for going and walking right. next to the ambassador in a CC, I guess? I, I don't Maybe. know. I don't know what that was about. Yeah. You know, once and that highlight of out, white jacket, I have no idea what that was either. Yeah. Once Once replays come out, I'm just going to, like study players for a while and write down a lot of stuff and then immediately suddenly be knowledgeable about things and I'll look amazing. Yep. So so I'll it have that going check. for me once replays happen. One so, thing that Wodar is a little guilty of on this map sometimes. We have he's sniping right now, but yeah. whenever he's at a bookcase or there's someone and there's someone else at the bookcase, he will always, like one hundred percent of the time, walk in front of the per other person at the bookcase to get out. Ever goes behind. He will always go in front, oh. and that's something the AI does sometimes too. But with enough yeah. rarity that you can highlight people who do it if you're playing Wodar. 
Although not okay. anymore because, you know, he probably just heard that I said that. <laughs> Indeed. Oh man. This is this is stuff I I would love to know because this is really interesting. Uh Wodar has a very, very large number of highlights. Yeah, he does. He's got about half the cast highlight at this point. Yep. And that that that's like including cast members too, so mm -hmm. A lot of highlights going on. So over half, well over half of the legit party goers. Indeed. There are three low lights, three neutral lights, and everyone else is highlit as far as actual possibility. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yep, yeah, yeah. that, that didn't go well. That, that was an issue. Um, microfilms are scary. Yeah, especially, I don't, I mean, to some extent, you have to occasionally try stuff at the yellow bookcase, because otherwise yeah. you can just guard the red and blue, but the yellow bookcase is so dangerous. It's right in the middle, oh, sweeping yeah. back and forth. You're always going to see it, you know, it's tough. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I feel like we get sidetracked a lot, which is, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I'm just noticing, like... Uh, I wasn't really paying a lot of attention to that game. I'm t t paying attention more to the conversation because this is really interesting. Then I'm like, holy crap, that was a white Oh my god, film. everyone got uh -oh. shot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, stepping on the balcony now after five, it looks like. Uh, what? Nope, never mind. They they decided we're going to keep playing Plopticon. I was like, oh my god, are we, do we only have five games left already? Jeez. Yeah. So, um, Wodar is up 4-1 at the moment, picking up the spiral. Oh, we could bug. Oh, no, too much traffic now. Just abort mission. Gonna, yeah, I'm going to let the AI take control here. Oh, my God, the AI really wants him to bug. Must resist. Must resist. Yeah. At the very beginning, if he had taken control instantly, he could have gotten a, like, kind of both in motion walking bug. Maybe, yeah. but that those are always super dubious. Because if like anybody comes along and bumps you while you try to do that, you're in real trouble. Oh yeah, absolutely. Goes for the quick Ooh, green pearl, pearl and line. hits the green Didn't see test it at all. on that. Didn't hits see it at all. I'd run away. On that. So that yeah, there is... we go. There's the run. Oh, but drawn sees him running. Not good. It's a look it, out. it was a green test, so it's going to be difficult to track, especially because we've got a, quite a long chain of rejects so far. There's the grab. Oh, you're way. You're, you're a little bit behind here. I'm going to pause uh, yeah, for just drawn. a second. So, Drawn did see the uh, guest list being yoinked. He has not a uh, high lit water yet, though. No. Um, it, he probably doesn't remember, but he did see Wodar running the hell away from that from the scene of that yeah. purloin, but it hadn't been purloined yet, so... Yeah. Ooh, another Getting... suspicious placement by the amb ambassador there. Yeah, he had a nice chance to bug and combo there, but he didn't yeah, take just it for some it. reason. Well, the angle wasn't perfect. I mean, he wasn't behind a pillar. He was pretty visible. Yeah. That's probably why. But in cases like that, usually what people do is just they watch the movement of the laser, and when the laser goes somewhere else, you press the button. But that can yeah. be pretty dangerous in itself. Drawn is usually pretty good about keeping the swivel going because th that's the yeah. last thing you want to have on Panopticon is to get predictable with when you're going to move the laser around because otherwise oh, yeah. you know you just bug whenever you want to. But yeah, and Drawn yeah. is usually really good about moving it around, but sometimes he'll get on something. Yeah. Another thing I don't like about Drawn Snipe, I'm going to talk shit about Drawn, who's a way more experienced. And better <laughs> than I am. Um, another thing I don't like about Drawn's game is um, I feel like he overuses zoom way too much. Like he'll zoom to uh, to figure out a per well, like whether and he'll just you're, I mean, are you gonna have to back up. And, uh, um, I'm totally losing you here, so you're gonna have to oh, okay. back okay. up and try sure that thing. last thought again. I thought I just saw from Wodar on that CC entry a stutter step. Oh. I don't okay. think Drawn saw it, but anyway, I'm I'm what I was saying is that Drawn likes to like zoom in. On, yeah. like, for instance, the tray to see if a purloin has happened, and he just stays zoomed in a little too long, I feel like, and he narrows okay. his scope of vision, especially on a map like this. Yeah. Well, I guess in Dron's case, 
Well, I guess one argument for that would be uh, if you're looking really hard at something in particular, then you're not really going to be paying attention to what's going on elsewhere anyways, even if you're zoomed out. So there's one yeah. argument for for the zoom If in, you're tunneling, but... you might as well tunnel it super good and be zoomed yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So, uh, Panop is a map where I feel like you have to have a really wide kind of low resolution but high field of vision focus. Going for oh, the hard transfer, blue to yellow. This is it right here. I think it looks knows. like he got it off all right. And if he can get one more mission, there's the bug. It wasn't pretty, but it'll do. Oh, now I'm behind you somehow. Okay, I, I can fix that. Five and seconds win countdown. Three, two, one, zero. So yeah, I, I don't know how you got that far behind me, but I just uh, I just attempted the fix. So hopefully, yay! Hopefully that'll work fine. So um, I just lost my train of thought. I know I was going to say something, but I can't remember what it was. Maybe related to the bug. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Well, well, what did you think of that game? Maybe it'll jog my memory. Uh, Dron just didn't seem to be able to keep track of Odar's hard tells. I mean, that was the real problem yeah. there. He did. He didn't see the purloin. That was probably really where he lost the game. Um, he had opportunities to kind of. I mean, obviously, Spy Party is not a game where one person is ahead or behind technically yeah. speaking, but I feel like Dron was, you know, at the disadvantage after that. He had a couple opportunities to come back from it because Wodar did do a microfilm transfer, but yeah. he just, I, I was, you know, I was talking up how good he is at books, and he's just not, he's not guarding books well in the set. Yeah. He seems to be having a bit of an off night. Yeah, I mean, Wodar just flat out did a hard transfer, got away with it. Did yeah. a really kind of, um, a kind of a hitch bug, but, you know, again, those are totally okay on Panopticon if the laser's not on you. I mean, the main thing if the lasers is make sure the boat takes more before you worry about anything else. Yeah. Okay, so to the right statue, taking a sip, just to make sure we're more or less synced. Oh, yeah, we're synced okay. pretty okay. well at this point. I think I'm maybe about a second ahead or something like that. Nah, that's fine. I'm at a minute and... Sorry, I'm at oh. three minutes and... Whoa. Uh, he didn't do anything with that statue. He didn't even inspect. Oh, inspect is not a thing. I forgot about that. I forget that Drawn does not. That Drawn takes off inspect. That's such an odd yeah. choice to me. I mean, I get it. I get his yeah. logic. I mean, it makes a ton of sense. It's just it's a soft it, L, you know. It feels bad. It's like it's, it makes sense, but it just feels bad. Ooh, not a, not the best briefcase in the world there. Yeah. So I'm at three minutes and ten, just to make sure. I'm at, I'm at three eleven, so I'm just at like a fraction of a millisecond behind you. All right, it's fine, though. So... This is really acceptable. I feel like we'll break it if we try to change it at this point. Fair enough. So, so he hasn't really done anything yet. No, he hasn't. Drawn on, we're falling back into his old trap again of playing too passive. In situations like this, I always wait for John to wait through to wade through the middle of the conversation circle. <laughs> yeah, um, I did get he a. Loves to do that. He hit the green BB pretty nicely though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's not high lit, but he's got yep, two minutes and fifteen it. seconds. Where are to these go. highlights coming from, Lodar? <laughs> he just highlight yellow jacket, and I have no idea why. Well, whatever his reasoning is, it's working for him. Yeah, definitely shooting people. Yeah, he is. And usually the right people. Okay, that highlight makes sense. I mean, bookcase right next to an ambassador, sure. Yeah. John just innocently putting the book back and already going for the frame, I guess. I guess? I mean, I I mean really you're never going to complete five, four missions in like a minute thirty. Yeah, I know. Like with inspect taken out, no less. It it looks like he's going to try though. 
I mean, he does this so often while I'm casting it. Like, it looks like yeah, he's never going to get his missions done. And then he tries to go for missions and doesn't have time. It's just, it's not a good situation. No, it's really not. I mean, all the more reason to add time, which he's still not doing. I mean, it look yeah. Motor's doing a much better job of guarding it than he usually does on this map. I mean, the fact that he highlight once he saw a time ad is like, you know, that's really good. Usually yeah, he, he has trouble spotting time ads at all. If I were drawn, then I would consider, okay, he saw me tie that right at the beginning. Let's let's get in a little bit into the game. Give there's him some time. Oh, there's the a time, time ad. There it Order is. Doesn't see it. Order doesn't see it at all. At least not in time. He swept right across drawn as that time okay. ad, or just after that time ad happened. And wow, one person shoot. got low lit from highlight, but... And drawn is highlit at this point. Yep. Uh, was, that, was that a fake... Nope, never mind. That was a flirt. And now a reflirt. Yeah, he's just going to do Twitch flirts at this point. Probably so a good idea. Done. Minute and ten to go. He's got, what, three missions to do? Yeah, three missions, but it's a hell of a three missions. I mean, the easiest one to do is Buck. I mean, There's that's another not time the easiest. Ad. I this like this. Be, uh, I like it too, but what are probably isn't going to expect another one. That was some very nice pathing there. Oh, sick bouncing, yeah. I really yeah, like that. absolutely. That was awesome. Oh, is he going to uh, go for the swap? I don't feel like the swap is the first of your three missions that you do here. I agree. If he can hit the green tab, uh-oh. No, yeah, you're in trouble. Oh, he's doing it while the laser's gone. Yeah, it's a, it's a swap and run. GTFO! Right. GTFO! Yeah, okay, yep, there's there the bug. Oh, but now you get shot. No, he didn't see yep. it. He did see it. Bullets. That's an issue. Oh. A little too eager there, maybe. I feel like he was under a little too much pressure and rushed it maybe a bit much. He saw that the ammo was behind a pillar, and he's like, ah, oh, I can bug. Yeah. I like that swap, uh, though. That ended up being a really good swap. Yeah. It ended up being really nice. It scared me because... Well, yeah, we don't from... always know where the laser is when yeah. uh, when that and but yeah. from his perspective, he knows exactly where the laser is. Yeah, and that has and been. the laser was less likely to be over there because there was like mm -hmm. no one on that side of the map, so it was a yep. good move. One of the things that a lot of snipers don't realize is if there's a whole sector of the map that's empty or empty-ish. That's a real danger zone for you because you know you're gonna you're gonna want to look where all the people are. Yeah. And the spy can get away with some crap on on the on the blind side. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, but there's the flip side of it too, where spies also like to be where there are big groups of people because you can use them as cover. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the map too. Um, like on yeah. courtyard, like if you, if there's maps where like you can do like for instance a swap while the sniper isn't looking at all like on courtyard two to some extent courtyard one and especially panopticon and veranda yeah. um you know you have to be careful of like just sitting there in the areas where there's a ton of cover absolutely so um yeah drawn onward really having problems here see, see the thing is uh I'd like checked like at the end of the like almost two hour session and because like, I, I tend to do that just to make sure the games are i'm casting aren't too one-sided and this yeah. was like almost tied it was like a one yeah he difference. must have recovered on balcony and uh and or courtyard too yeah, Drawn Onward does seem to make some pretty epic comebacks on Balcony. He is quite skilled at that map. So, uh, we've got seven games done at this point, so we're probably going to play um, three more on the Panopticon. Mm -hmm. and then switch to balcony I would assume because that's the way drawn seems to do things sometimes he does the uh, 5 and 5 and 5 and 5 and 5 and 5 and 5 method which I like yeah that's, just play I mean, that's 5 games cast. on each map yep exactly or the 6 uh, 
six games on five maps and get rid of Courtyard 1. Yeah. Poor Courtyard 1. Poor Courtyard 1. No one likes Courtyard 1. I like Courtyard 1. You're so uh, far away on it as the sniper. Yeah. It's, it's certainly interesting, but um, it makes... It makes Inspect really scary. I think that's yeah, totally scary. I mean, you almost—it almost becomes a little bit. I mean, it's not a hard tell, but it almost becomes something you can just shoot for. I mean, unless an AI. I mean, AIs like optimistically, if you're the spy, like you're gonna have one or two AIs visit the statues twice during yeah. a non-time added game of Courtyard One, and that's like really narrow if you want to do the same. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, this game. This, this particular game. Let's see what happens. I'm in a good position to bug. Nope, there he no. goes. Wait, what? What? Did you... Did, did, no bug happened on my end. Did you say a bug happened? No, I, I was saying the Ambo was standing in a good position for Wodar to bug. But okay, he and then, then, you they, said, then, he then they said, there he goes. And I was like, wait no, a I meant second. No, I meant the Ambo was walking away. Okay, understood. Confusion averted. We're stepping into the bookcase here to see if we can start some microfilm shenaniganry. Yellow yeah, if I were drawn, I'd be... Place to be though. What the hell? I think you meant a briefcase there? What the hell was that? Man, just straight up rushing bookshelves. Is John going to shoot him? Well, it's yeah, a He highlight. collects the highlight, yeah. That was a little too fast. I don't like that. Yeah. If I were drawn, I'd go rush, run over there and see if he's in a convo with the DA as well. He did yeah. as well. Yeah. So. I'm a lot sure of heat for Wodar. Heck of a lot of suspicion. He's going to have to find some way to try to... To try to make himself seem a little bit less... Oh, God. To... Uh, that was that was that... really risky, and it did it did worked. Okay, I thought it didn't work, but oh, that was actually really slick, given that it worked. Yeah, it was. So that's mm -hmm. three missions done already. Okay, one eighty. All right. I mean, he's got like four stars at this point, GTA wise. But I mean, yeah. the, he's got three missions done, so he can afford to just bleed off some time here. Oh God, yeah. right to statues. Too he's fast. Not, he's not too fast. Indeed. Oh, he's just white swap. Statue. Yeah, you're about a second ahead of me again. I don't know how this keeps happening, but oh. it makes me sad. Eh. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, oh drawn. That's it. That's that. That's the... Yeah, no way. Oh, he sees it. He could see it. Shoot him. There it is. Yeah, you're about a good okay, second ahead Okay, I'll totally pause. Because... Okay, cool. That was that was a terrifying game. I I was I was scared Drawn wasn't going to get that. Like I really yeah. thought Lodar had actually did what? that somehow. Other than I mean, once you commit to the crazy aggression plan, I like the way he did it. Um, yeah. I might have been tempted to spend a little more time doing nothing. Yeah. But Same I like the I liked his rush. Um, the only thing I could really say is just maybe stand in maybe do the swap last yeah you know, inspect first and swap last and then stand in front of it for a while um and yeah. so that you let some of that countdown timer bleed out uh before you have to leave the statues yeah that uh. it seems like a good way of doing it but i mean it just... ended up being a moot point because drawn didn't see the swap until after he had left anyway but you know yeah it's it's scary business when you're doing when you're doing the rushes I don't have much experience with, with rushes myself because I have like one sniper game and that's it. I usually wind up timing it um, so I have one mission left with a minute to go and yeah. that always happens. Like a hundred percent of my games that happens. You just got if that like and that that playstyle is really effective as long as you make sure that that's the right mission left with with, uh, with one minute to go. Yeah. Like I like if it's a feeling. statue swap, you're like gulp, but you know if it's like seduced, then you're like, oh okay, I can do that. Yeah. Or if it's seduced, you're like, oh, this this, this seduction target had better cooperate. Damn yeah. it. 
Jesus, that's the see, worst see, feeling. Is when you have to have the ST a, cooperate. Yeah, it's even worse if it's a double agent because sometimes he just won't go to a damn conversation. Yep. Yep. This is this is why we do our banana breads early, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So, looks like it's drawn on Orn's turn to pick up the spy shoes once again. Uh, Wilder is going to be on the rifle this time around. Drawn on Orn, I'm assuming he's going to take off and uh, seduce again because. No, Drawn Orn does inspect. That's but rare. This, but no this seduce. This time he's doing seduce. So. No seduce is actually, I think a no seduce is kind of like an underrated thing to get rid of when you have a choice. I mean, the advantage of it is that you cut, I mean, seduce is a easy soft tell. The problem is that it's so time consuming. I mean, unless, on this you can, unless you can get big twitch flirts off. Exactly. On this, map, on this map, on this map, it's not as big a deal because you can just twitch flirt. Yeah. Twitch, well, he doesn't inspect. What? I mean, what? I feel like. I don't think I think his thinking is something along the lines of oh Wodar will saw see that I only had like time enough to do two inspects there and then he will not think that I'm done oh god that's not a good place to stand um, but I don't no, think no. Wodar or really any sniper would like see that bug, on the map bug, like bug. okay now that's reasonable game sense not to bug there because you're standing in an uber fishy position in the circle <laughs> yeah you are that's yeah. true but. But Wodar wasn't looking, I mean, for at least some of that time. Yeah. Yep. I think Drawn really prefers walking bugs. I think so, yeah. He also apparently dances, which is fun to watch. Uh, he's at the yellow bookcase again. This is, As we know, this is a very dangerous place to be, but he just sets that book right back down again, so... That's another thing he likes to do. Um, yeah. And I'm not sure I like that idea. I mean, if you get a book on, I mean, I, I guess I guess it depends. Because if you if you do that too reliably, then eventually snipers just start low lighting anyone who takes a book and is innocent with it. But it takes so much re too yeah. much, so much mental resources to do that to trek. Oh, that person, they went here, then there, then they put the book back. So aha, uh -huh, they must be an AI. You know, you don't yeah. have time for that on Panopticon. I feel like. Yeah, I agree. There's there's so much to look at at this map, but come yeah. on. Drawn is having a rough game. He's got two minutes left. He's got a mission done. This is going to be hard. Yeah, he's just moving a little too slow again. Yeah. I, I don't get why he didn't finish his inspects the first time he was at statues. I mean, the other so thing... Sad. The other advantage of um, of the way he is playing it is that Wodar will see him visit two statues, and one of them was center statue. So if Wodar yeah. were really keeping a close track, he'd be like, okay, technically speaking, that's extraneous statue visits. Yeah. But again, things like that are more suited for balcony than... Uh, I mean, not that balcony has statues <laughs> or yeah. bookcases on it, but... I guess ballroom would be a better... Um... Yeah, yeah, because the sniper can kind of see everything there. Yeah. Um, but that kind of like, oh, I'm the spy and I'm wasting movement, therefore I must be an AI... Like, that's more like on the small maps where the sniper is A, going to see it no matter what, and then B, like, it has enough mental resources to devote. Oh, God. Oh, okay, that was a briefcase thing. Never mind. I thought he just stopped. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to freak out when I saw weird movements as well, even if they were with briefcases, but I started to figure that out. So we've got 45 seconds left. There's no way Drawn is going to purloin this. No, he doesn't. Just mm. grabs a drink off mm -hmm. that. So. Yep, he's just going for the shoot. But the problem is yeah. that he hasn't swapped or purloined, so I don't see how he's going to get Wodar to shoot. Yeah. I mean, maybe if... Oh, he just gets shot straight up. Not sure how. Okay. All right. Huh. I don't know why. Well, there is a really cool trick you can do, I learned. That if you um, if you get a green purloin, and then you call Toby back and take a drink, the drink doesn't go away until the next person takes a drink. So, yeah, that's that's something that I actually used against John recently, because um, okay, he was really awesome. suspicious. 
Yeah, he was really suspicious of the other person who ended up uh, purloining. Unfortunately, it's a hard tell if the sniper knows what they're doing. Because if someone takes a, takes a drink and purloin doesn't happen, then the next person takes a drink and it's a green test disappearance, then it's just a hard tell that the person who took the drink is the spy. Because it is other so hard yeah. to tell if it's a green test disappearance, though. Yeah, you have to spend some time. I mean, what I did is I just sat in, in not even even in the practice mode, but in the uh, the animation previews and just watched it over and over and over and over. Slappy Davis is an observant person. Gulp happened and he died for it. That makes sense. Oh my God! Holy! Well, mad props to Wodar for seeing a gulp on Panopticon. Jesus! No kidding! Wow! John must have been like a super high suspect. Yeah. I'm not sure why. I feel like he was so unsuspicious that whole round. I mean, the only thing he really did was visit statues twice, but given that his first visit was to center statues, I mean, that's not really that suspicious at all. I mean, I that's well know. played by Wodar. Maybe that's why we can't figure out what the heck's with Wodar's highlights. Maybe he just has an epic anti drawn onward strat. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like it's risky, but it's working. Yeah. So you know, it's it's working. Uh -huh. So um. Gulped with two peas. Indeed. Or if uh, R seven is to believe be believed, seven peas. Well, definitely, I feel like it needs to be five peas because KCM. MMMS. Yes, so that's the has standard. to be five. It's got to be five. So. See, what I want to know is like that. So it's like capital KCM, but then the last four M's are MMMM. Right. So is it is it like really four is the number, and like the first M is just like part of the KCM? I got, I got told the story once. Apparently, it was uh, AIM. I think it was where mm -hmm. he originally he was just KCM. And then he couldn't remember his password, so he just added another M on the end and made Legit. a new account. That Legit. happened like four times, so he, came, nice. so he wound up with five M's. <laughs> That's a great story. <laughs> my favorite my favorite Spy Party username story so far is Variable Bread, who got that just off of straight up like uh, Xbox 360, 360 gamer tag suggestion. That is amazing. Like just having your your Xbox throw that at you as a proposed gamer tag, you you win the lottery right there. That's a, that's yeah. a great great user. That name. is amazing. All right, so we've got one last game to play on Panopticon with Wodar as spy, drone onward as sniper. Hopefully, we'll John's get just getting housed. Thing. He's getting housed on Panopticon. He is. Hopefully. Hopefully he'll be able to make awesome happen on the balcony and I won't look like a horrible person for casting this game. I played John on his stream last night and uh, the opposite happened. He like totally ho hosed me on Panopticon. Spy Party is definitely a momentum kind of game. Especially yeah, when it comes really to like is. a particular role on a particular map. Like you can be sucking yeah. at playing Sniper on X map for you know however many games. Yeah. White test on the transfer, but it worked. Ah, uh, there it is. J Wodar just did his tell where he walked in front of the uh, the person next yeah. to him at the bookcase. Yeah, I saw that. And mm -hmm. the cool thing is, when it's not Wodar, that is an incredibly AI thing to do. Exactly, but... and Wodar does a good job low lighting it. I just feel like he does it almost a little too much, like yeah. more so than the AI does it by a considerable amount. What like, are you the opportunity doing, for Toby? A really good okay. There. <laughs> that was that was really strange looking Colbyness. That would have been amazing, but yeah, then it swing and a miss on that thing. Yeah, at least he's not in highlight yet. As he steps in the blue bookcase, yeah. to see if he oh, can straight up green. Off. But Drawn will there shoot you goes. for that every day. It's the green. Oh, oh god! But the zoom, oh, god. the zoom from Drawn once again. Oh, I don't zoomed. know why he zoomed there. Oh, like no. again, like I was talking about, like why you need a wild field of vision. He just zoomed right yeah. at the instant the green test happened, and Drawn will shoot you and see that every time. He's yeah. great at seeing green tests. Yeah, I, I know he is because I've seen him uh, murder people for that so many times. Mm -hmm. It's the green purloin as well. I think Drawn sees it though. He does, but uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. 
Does he get shot? He's looking. He's looking. Where is he? He's looking. Where is he? There he is. He's Bang. Lo- Bang. There's there the bullet. Is. Well done on that one, Ron. That was... That was well done. I'm always amazed when people can tell that it was a green purloin because I can't do that. I think part of the trick for me, I'm I'm kind of an, an audio guy when it comes to remembering things in Spy Party. So, like, it's kind of creepy to be in the same room with me when I'm, like, playing Spy Party in Super Serious Try Hard mode because I'm constantly just muttering to myself. I'm like, head, falcon, okay. head, Venus, Venus, head, head, falcon, head, Venus, Venus, head. Yellow Danger, Last Ring. Yellow Danger, Refuse. Yellow Danger, and, and Bond are Refuse. Falcon, Falcon, and I'm just like constantly like saying things aloud. That must be awesome. <laughs> it's creepy like, for the other people in the house. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Now I'm imagining just this random situation where someone's like spying on you and has like a bug planted. Uh, yeah, I mean, they think I was like that? totally like a creepy spy reciting some weird code. I mean, at least yeah. I don't do the number memorization method, you know, three, two, one, one, three. I'm just like yeah. reciting these weird trinary numbers. Yeah. Or like, um, like when I like when I stream, actually, me playing is like, all right, that's uh, three, two, one, one, three, one. Uh, watching, watching Amba, Amba, that's still 3, 2, 1, cool. I just, like, just do that the entire time. Yeah. So. No, war- just to, to answer the warning track question, no, the head is the one that I call the, is the indie statue. That I call that one the head. The Venus one is the actual legit ancient Venus statue, I think, yeah. is the story. And then the Falcon is the Maltese Falcon, of course. Yeah. Well, balcony time! All right! Time for things to get silly. And walking eye slash food of becomes very happy. Indeed. All right. So, as soon as this, as soon as I actually press the button, there we go. All right. So, let's play some balcony. Starting things off, not the best position in conversation. I'm going for the flirt anyway, and hits the green. And the test, super so. early flirt as well. Super early flirt. I wonder if. But Woda will actually... generally not low, not highlight you for being the first one to talk on uh, balcony. So you know, whatevs. Yeah, don't you usually low light the first one to talk and highlight the second one. Low lighting the first person to talk is like very risky on balcony. I feel like. Yeah. Because. I mean, it depends. I feel like it's something you got to know your player to be able to do something like that. Yeah, it's just usually. Um... Oh, oh no. that is what are so you doing? no! You can't do that, Drawn. <laughs> you know you when she's going it. to walk away. Why do you do this? But you're right. You didn't see it, and I think that that may have been. A yeah, maybe he was just trying him. to use her walking away as like the cover for that, but you know that's has such that a low work. chance of working. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So hit another nice flirt on that. So with fifty yep, seconds go. left, there's oh, the banana, banana bread. bread. Really good banana bread. Very oh, good Wodar banana did, bread. Wodar isn't buying though. No, he's not. He's got the laser right on there. All we need is thirty seconds one to go. Flirt, Chance is really slim, though. I mean, because Wodor's got it, it down to three here. And next person... Oh, snaps. Being super fishy. That was an And gets low lit movement. for it. I, yeah, got, I gotta remember that one. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta learn how to do that. Yeah, briefcase aborts are a weird and strange field. Okay, yeah. You can almost just shoot Blue Danger at this point, really. At this point, yeah. Unless he Drawn goes window he... to window. Then you shoot Green Dress. Well, then you don't shoot at all. Oh, Green Dress is talking, but you can wait for overtime. And, yep, death. Well, not death, but you lose. No, too late. (laughs) Yeah. So. Interesting point there. If John had walked out and walked in and just waited a little longer, could have waited for Green Dress to talk. And then when she talked, he talked. And then Wodar at least has a dilemma, you know. Mm -hmm. But he didn't know that any of that was going to happen. So, fair enough. Good attempt to frame someone. I'm shocked that Wodar low lit uh, snaps. That's what won him the game. Yeah, I think it was. A, I think it was a really smart move because. Yeah. What I mean, spy if... does that? That looks so bad. It... I'll tell you who does it. Uh, Food of slash walking eye would definitely do that. I mean, his whole strategy yeah. is to do things that spies would 
good spies should and would never do on uh, on balcony to get low lit, and it works for them pretty well. That's awesome. That is so cool. Yeah, I need to try some of this shenaniganry. Shenanigans are fun in this game. You can do all sorts of ridiculous stuff. This game is basically all about shenanigans. Yes, it is one hundred percent shenanigans, and that's I love that. That makes it so fun. It's such a stressful game though, especially when you're not used to it. Yeah, part of the fun of watching new players play is how like stressed out and how much adrenaline they have like flowing yeah. through their veins. Like when the shot finally goes off, the oh! <laughs> I mean, to yeah. me, when I get shot now, it's just like oh, I got shot, you know. But like to like someone who it's like game two that they've ever played, just the reactions are just priceless. I yeah. love it. I remember when I first started playing this game, like, Ooh. whenever the bullet sound happened, I would, like, jump in my chair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was... Like, I could never play, like, more than, like, ten games at a time. Oh, you stressful. can't do that. You can't do that. No, you can't do... Nope, did... What? Did oh, he... Oh, wow, did perfectly he... timed. What? Perfectly wow. timed. Okay. I didn't All think he was right. going to get away with that. I was going to say, he got really lucky with the timing of his of when Banana Bread went off in his talking animation. It was really early, but Drawn doesn't, doesn't really care. He just highlighted him anyway. But then, yeah. you know, solid bug. Yeah. Perfect timing. I mean, to some extent, a little bit of luck, because you have to be, you have to, you know, Drawn has to rotate. Indeed. Drawn looks like a sad panda right now. Yeah. Well, he's, he's been having a rough night. He is. He is. This one, 3 out of 12. Any good. Yeah. yeah. He has every right to be a panda right now. And I know that didn't make sense, but I just said it, okay? Alright, let's watch some balcony. So, uh, again, not the best spot in the conversation to be starting out. We're basically... Uh, right across from the seduction target, so... Yeah, but you might as well take it, because, you know, what do you, I mean, it's not like you can really fix your position at that point, so, I mean, you well, might as well get your, I, you know, 19% or whatever. Well, I mean, at this point, you might actually want to go for the red flirt, because then he might re-enter between you and the ambassador. Yeah, that that's that's legitimate. That's legitimate. Although, then you're this... still talking. It depends on your sniper. It depends on if your sniper, like, really watches who's talking, or if they watch entries and exits, or da-da-da-da-da. Yeah. He's already highlighted here. He hasn't even taken control. This this is a very talkative AI. So much sad face. I think Drawn is planning on just waiting this out and then going for a banana bread at a minute. And there's the BB. He wasn't talking during it, so it was green. No control is a really dangerous weapon on Balcony for the spy. It is. Because you pretty much have a 1 in 6 chance of being top suspect. Yeah. And it's really effective against um, against experienced snipers as well. Yeah. Can we bug? I don't think so. I don't think we can. Now our, whole, our whole strategy here looks like we're just trying to get someone framed. I yeah. can't remember. We're, did we uh, did we white test or green test that, uh, that banana bread? We greened it. We did get the green. Oh, okay. Excellent. Excellent. He's almost being a little too stationary at this point. I would maybe yeah. walk out and do window to window or something. I'd go for the window to window because at 15 seconds left, you can't walk back in again. You uh -uh. just can't. Ooh, that was awkward. Yeah, snaps gets a low light here. Oh, maybe not. Doesn't matter. He can just wait for the. Oh, he shoots. I don't like that. Oh my goodness, he does. Wow. I don't like I... that. He... With five seconds left, when you start the talk, you just wait. You just wait and see yeah. if it goes to overtime. Yeah, absolutely. Man. Water should have had that game. You really should have. Mm -hmm. Yep. That is, that is so unfortunate. But drawn onward. He had some unfortunate going on in that game as well. Yeah, I mean, anytime you get high lit when the AI has control, you got to curse your luck a little bit. Yeah. So. But as we all know, the AI hates Drawn. The AI hates Drawn so much. Yeah. I feel like we we all feel like the AI hates us a little bit. Our yeah. seduction targets and our double agents especially. Yeah, yeah but, but 
Like, even I've noticed this. It's worse with Drawn than with anybody else. He just has Drawn, the worst Drawn's such luck. a nice guy. He deserves He points. is. He really is. Really good guarding of that Amba there. Yeah, that was awesome. Even if you don't look at that the most closely, you usually have to put the laser right there so that the spy, you keep the spy honest. Ooh, that, yeah. ooh. Very interesting aggressive ooh. low light of Blue Dress there because that could have been Blue Dress's extremely fast BB uh, split. I actually, I'm actually bug. tempted to disagree about that. That was a nice bug, but it wasn't quite nice enough, apparently. Yeah, so. it was through someone. Yeah. You thought that Blue was like a little too fast good. to be the BB split there? I think I think it was possible, but the thing is, like, even, like, because we're human, we have to, like, confirm that we hit green before we leave combo or we just die. Yeah, I mean, to, for that to work, a human would just basically have to sell out on, I'm going to green this, and if I white test, I'll cough. You know, like, yeah. you have to commit to that in advance. Yeah. And that's super it's, risky. So, yeah. It's, yeah good. it's basically an all or nothing move. At that point. So, let's so say... So, we're here, we're business suit. Let's say we cast... Uh, Well, let's say let's say we cast four more games. See if Drawn can make the comeback of a century. I'm down with whatever you are down with. All right, so we'll do four more on balcony. It should go fairly quickly. I always I always I'm try to make, make it possible good. because you gotta have the comebacks. If... Yeah, if I don't, it ki I kind of feel like I'm cheating fate out of its draws. Exactly. Also, comebacks are dramatic and awesome and fun. And Indeed. There's that. So, drawn going for the... Uh, Highlight the with no, no control again. The sad face! The sad face! Okay. So we haven't even banana bread it yet. Here's that should come in like right now. It does indeed. Hits the white test. Sorry, green test. So that's. And busts Modar's other suspect fortunate. in the middle of talking. Yeah, indeed. Doesn't look like Wodar's ready to shoot for it, though. Yep. Oh, that is so good. No, but briefcase. No. Damn it. Yep. Sad face. Quickly, bug, walking bug. Oh my god, he did it! He did it! Oh, he's gonna get shot though. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Oh well. It was. I really like that plan because sending it into overtime at that point is really what you've got to do. Mm -hmm. um, I guess you can just kind of. I'm not sure I like the decision to. Decision to no control in the first place might yeah. be a little bit dubious. Yeah, I, I mean, two in a that. row is always a risk. I mean, he's like doing some double reverse. That he won't expect me to do it two in a row after I beat him with it the first time, but eh, it's kind of risky. Yeah, yeah. Well, no comeback. That's all right. We got three more games left to play. Wodar as the spy this time around with Drawn as Sniper. That was a situation. It's gone now. Oh, no, he could do it again. Where I might be tempted to uh, banana bread whenever Orange Dress is talking because, uh, because orange she was dress? right next to the amp. Well, not just because Orange Dress, but because <laughs> she was right next to the uh, ambassador as well. Fair and enough. And right at the beginning before you could like really confirm that she hadn't. Uh, they're just a low light for the briefcase there. Yeah. Before you could really confirm that uh, she hadn't bugged. And spies like love to rush double agent after they bug. Yeah. And just a fair warning, somehow you've gotten a second ahead of me again. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Keeps happening. The, the seduction target is not a friendly person sometimes. I really like window flirts on this map because window flirts are used... totally the key. Yeah. Yeah. So they're seldom used enough that snipers don't really tend to notice them. So you can get away with murder as far as window flares are concerned, as long as you're not like in their model, you should be yeah. alright. I've gotten to the point. Oh, he just gets shot. 
All right. Duck. I've gotten to the point okay. as a sniper on balcony where I get I'm almost too paranoid about window flirts. <laughs> like if I if I see anyone walk like anywhere within like reasonable range of someone else's window, it's like, oh that's a highlight. Uh, that's that's kind of awesome. Alright, so two games to go. Uh drawn onward down by four at this point. He's he really did have a rough night on Panopticon, but he's making some he's making some strides here on the balcony to yeah, he's keeping it more or less even things. on balcony. Mm hmm Yeah. So We kind of this... seen a very passive style in general from John onward today, even on yeah. going on into balcony. Yeah, it was, it was the same thing last time I cast him. He was just playing really passive the entire time. There's a comment in chat that really confused me because I'm trying to talk and make sense of this is at the same time. You can get away with not letting the other guy get away with murder is what I was trying to make a sense of. I think he's talking still... about window flirts. Yeah, window flirts, I think, he, is what he's referring to there. Yeah, he yeah. totally was. But then I was trying to read that while talking, and then just nothing. I, I could oh, yeah. do neither. That's a, that's a tongue twister for you. Oh, I'm not okay. sure I like that banana bread. Oh, that yeah, works. But that happens, okay. and then win. So, that, that's kind of yeah. similar, I think. Maybe he thought he bugged during the time of chaos. I don't that's, know. That's what I'm assuming. Because when you get really early banana breads, you get so paranoid about bugs. Yeah. But if you start hallucinating bugs on balcony as sniper, you're just done for. You got you got to trust that there wasn't a bug sometimes. Yeah. All right, last game. Uh, we've got Wodar as the spy, drawn onward as the sniper. Let's see if he can go out in a blaze of glory, or just a lighter of glory. A brassiere of glory. I like that one. We'll go. We'll go with that. We'll go with that if he loses. No, Wodar's turn to he, no control. Looks like. Is yeah. he, are you really gonna no control? Nope, not gonna no control. Cool. Better flirt Sometimes. before the ST runs away. Now he's gonna get a drink. Now flirt before the ST runs away. Waiting for his turn, probably. It looked like his turn came and went. I am so confused. I mean, he's not no controlling, but he's doing the manual no control. Kind Why of. hasn't he been out of yet? Yeah, okay. he's had a few really good opportunities to do so. Nothing makes sense. All right, well, one minute left, and literally nothing's happened. Like, literally nothing. Okay, here comes banana bread right now. Got to do it. Got to do it. You got... Nope, there goes the section target. Well, I... Okay. Don't care so much mm. about the amber leaving. Oh, there goes sky blue. I... Well, well there he goes oh, as well. Oh, super fishy. So. I mean, the good news for him is he's got a, he got a light, low light before that even happened for inactivity, presumably, so... Yeah. This plan working so far here. That was a really good briefcase, low light brown dress. Oh, it goes to neutral light. Okay. We've got 15 seconds left. No! Oh, no! Razier of glory it is. So, thanks a bunch for coming out. Uh, I love Friendship Cast. Friendship Cast was so fun. Friendship Cast has been a lot of fun. I appreciate you giving me the opportunity, Tubbo. It's been, I know, I'm glad. been very I'm enjoyable. It. That's good to hear. So, uh, next week, I'm doing this with Virafo, which is going to be awesome. Um, next show is the uh, Friday show. Remember, we're on the new times now. So, it's still going to be 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern, as is the norm, but Friday instead of Thursday. Because school. Uh, I think we're about done, so... Yep, I gotta uh, start my stream up. I remember what I forgot to say. Mention oh. streaming or anything like that. You stream this game at twitch.tv slash crazy Kaylee. Uh, you're also on Twitter at, I think it's at crazy Kaylee. It's the right? same thing. Yeah, exactly. All right, cool. 
So, is there anything else you want to pimp out? YouTube? Uh, like buy Spy Party at www.spyspyparty.com. So you guys already have. Everyone watching this, is... this Twitch probably already has. All right, cool. So, that that's actually a good point. But if you don't, do it. It's $15. This game is amazing. I think we're done. So, yeah. I think it's... I think we're good. So, Adios, until next Tubo. time. Thanks, sir. This is Taboshi and Crazy Kaylee signing off.